This is a cool story. This one comes via the Samsung newsroom. How about that? Not, not, not a place I typically would find myself on a day reading the news. That said, it ended up in my Google News feed. So here we are introducing Samsung's versatile new image sensor, the ISOCELL GN1. Uh, I found this kind of, it was news to me because I was sitting there thinking, how did this end up in the feed, first of all? And then second of all, Samsung image sensor. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, I had been using the S20 Ultra product and was not all that happy with the autofocus on that product, particularly in video. It was hunting a lot. Huge camera module, high expectations, big flagship level. I know soft, some software up, updates have addressed this, gotten better, but that was my feeling at the time, particularly at the high resolutions on video. So that I was already kind of into this article, but then I found this video that they published, an intro video for this sensor, and I and I thought to myself, oh, we're in the future now. We got intro videos, flashy product videos for image sensors for upcoming smartphones. Never mind just upcoming smartphones. Play you can play a little bit of this video. Get yourself hyped up. Colorful jello looking cubes, bigger performance, bigger pixels. And more pixels, 50 megapixels, but that right there. Pause right there. Pause right there, Willie. That's the one that got me going. Got me right fired up. Got me uh uh tuned up got me uh well they just got me and the reason being is because i'm familiar with this terminology dual pixel autofocus dual pixel autofocus type of thing you get on a canon dslr one of the best autofocus on on that you can get out there on a sort of enthusiast camera dual mm. pixel autofocus i'm in my smartphone mm. you know i like autofocus pay attention to it so listen to this right here okay I hope you're ready. The speed at which a camera can focus on a subject can hugely influence a user's photo taking experience. Whether the subject is a furry friend, you got a furry friend. I do. Up close or a group shot of a family, fast autofocus can help ensure you never miss a precious moment. In order to provide users with ultra fast autofocus experience, the ISOCELL GN1 leverages dual pixel technology with 100 million phase detection focus units. That's some camera stuff, man. If you're a camera nerd, you, you should also be motivated right now. It is one area, yet I know smartphones have caught up so much in their capabilities. Photo, video. One area is still... Uh, mm, still a little bit, uh, you know what, is the autofocus department. Now, I don't know. I haven't tested it. It's just an announcement. But if the technology is anywhere close to other dual pixel autofocus systems, this could be a game changer for real. Hmm. That we could see some of that smooth and accurate autofocus just bang on every time. Hmm. Let me just, I'm just gonna go uh, nerd mode on you for a moment here. All right, are you ready? Hmm. Phase detection autofocus is much faster than conventional contrast detection systems, which analyze the contrast between edges and move the focus motor until the contrast is at its sharpest. However, the speed of phase detection autofocus process is dependent on how many phase detection pixels the sensor contains. Many smartphone sensors only feature phase detection enabled pixels at a capacity of 5 to 10% of the total pixels. But with ISOCELL GN1, dual pixel technology, it embeds two photodiodes in every single pixel. Every single pixel as opposed to 5 to 10% of the total pixels. Mm. Resulting in faster, more accurate autofocus experience you've also got bigger pixels on here so you get to uh, better looking photos in general you have tons of resolution at 50 megapixels and you have some help for the nighttime stuff because it can combine for low light performance as well so what we're looking at is a pretty significant announcement in my books but it is it's early level in the sense that how you might not be able to envision the translation in the eventual product but like i said prepare thyself because once you experience this type of autofocus on a smartphone if you never have on a on a you know a substantial dedicated camera you're going to love this stuff
And so it means it's good news for upcoming Samsung devices and actually any partner that chooses to use this Samsung sensor. There's other elements that go into what the, what this output, what this image is going to look like. You still have the computational stuff and all the rest of it. But this is promising on its own. Mm.